visualize its gram with tutorial clarity and today we are going to be creating a Photoshop Vista effect. It's the one with the uh, nice bluish green colors and the streaks of light. That's what we're going to be doing here. And first thing we're going to do in order to get that blurred uh, smooth background is we're going to open up a photo. It really doesn't matter which photo and I'll show you why but we're going to go to File, Open or Control O and so I already have that one selected there. Let's hit open. And this is actually a really large image. So I'm going to hit Control C or Control A to select all and then Control C to copy it. And then we're going to go back to our document here. Hit Control V to paste it. And as I said, this is a large image. So I'm going to zoom out and hit Control T to transform and shrink. Hold down Shift and I'm just going to shrink it down. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, I'm going to leave it at about there. Hit apply, and we're going to zoom back into our document. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. We're going to apply a Gaussian blur, and it has to be very high. In fact, I'm going to set it to about 95 pixels in terms of blurriness, and there you have it. So you can absolutely not tell. <laughs> What it, uh, what it was previously before in the Gaussian Blur. And the next thing we're going to do is apply something called an Adjustment Layer. And we can do that by going up here to Layer, and then New Adjustment Layer, and we're going to add a Color Balance Adjustment Layer. And we're going to call this Color Balance. Hit OK. And then what you need to do here is really just play around we're going to be aiming to up the blues and up the greens, but we don't want to go too high on the greens, and we really don't want any red or cyan at all. So we're going to, I'm going to show you what we're doing here. We're going to go to Shadows. We're going to up the blue spectrum, up the green spectrum, lower the red spectrum, up the blue a little more, mess with the green until it looks about right. Again, just toy with it. There we go. Now we're going to go to our midtones, clicking that checkbox. And we're going to drag up the blues. Again, mostly blue. Mostly blue. And drag down the green just a little bit and going to keep the red actually about where it was. As for highlights, we're not really going to have many highlights. I wouldn't drag up the blues on here because it's already down. In fact, I drag down the blues a little bit and uh, drag down the greens and drag down the red. And there you have it. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to get the light streaks in here. And what you can do is click the Create New Layer button. And there's two ways of getting these light streaks, or uh, glass streaks, whatever you'd like to call them, Vista streaks, into Photoshop. What you can do, the way I prefer to get the most unique, is the pen tool, of course. Now we select down here, and we're just going to drag out a curvy edge like such bam and we're gonna wrap it up there we're gonna grab our selection by control clicking the path under the paths tab and what we're gonna do is grab a brush with an opacity of 50 percent and we're basically with our white color selected we're gonna drag up here basically all the way to the top and don't go overblown you'll notice the whole brush is not in there just a little bit and there you have it now we're gonna hit control D to deselect that we can set the mode to overlay and what you can do here what I prefer to do is blur that sharp edge just a little bit so I'm gonna blur it there you go and you'll see now that I can duplicate that layer, let's actually call this layer a uh, Vista Streak. Let's click, hold, and drag it into the Create New Layer button to duplicate. And we're going to use Control and Shift to move it over and to transform it. We hold down Control plus T to transform. And you can really mess with it however you like, but it's completely up to you. And duplicate that one, move it over. And you can see since it's set to overlay that they glow 
like that. So you may, in fact I will, I'm just going to leave that one there and then duplicate that one and that's too much of a glow. I'm going to bring this one over control T and I'm going to rotate that and bring it down here. Hit apply and that's looking pretty nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And um, one more type, the optional other type is to get a really rounded one is you can obviously use the rounded elliptical marquee tool and we're gonna create a new layer here call this one rounded and all we have to do I'm gonna zoom out make sure I get a good selection with that selected we're gonna drag out what looks like a uh, smooth edge here maybe maybe about there there and zoom back in what we're gonna do is the same thing that we did before it's a little too far zoomed in I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard to bring up my previous brush settings and we're just gonna go around here very lightly that sharp edge is gonna give us that sharp edge that uh, we want you'll see I hit control D there it is we set it to overlay and what we can do, as with the previous one, is duplicate that and rotate it with Control T. And duplicate that one, rotate it with Control T. Bring it in. You start to get a really nice effect here, useful for wallpapers, things like that. And uh, I'm actually going to duplicate that one again and just leave it like that and I'm going to duplicate the first one that I did. I think it was, I believe it was called rounded. There we go. So now I have a really shiny bottom and top layers in terms of that. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean you can uh, go off over here and do whatever you want. This is a lot of open space, you know, maybe add a quote here or a picture, fade something in. It's completely up to you. It's just the general effect that I was aiming for in this tutorial. Guys, my name is Graham. And this has been another tutorial with Tutorial Clarity. Take care.